So you should always start out with the base. It'll make your eyeshadow last longer. And this is Sigma's Persuade base. And then I'm going to use Anastasia's Renaissance palette for this look. And I'm going to take the orange shade, obviously, for the transition shade in a Sigma E40 blending brush just into my crease. And then I'm going to take Burnt Orange and apply that to my eyelid with a flat brush. And I'm really going to pack that color on. And then I'm going to take the darkest brown matte shadow and apply that to the outer corner of my crease with the Sigma E35 blending brushes. It was one of my favorite blending brushes. And then I'm going to apply a wing with my favorite gel eyeliner, which is from Tarte, and a Sigma E11 brush. And then I think it was at this point that I realized I forgot to put my false eyelash on the eye that I already did. So then I'm going to take this blur stick from Milk Makeup. I was really excited to try this. I applied it all over my face and it's weird because at first it feels like there's nothing on your face. So it blurs out any imperfections and it also makes your face look matte. And then I'm going to take the new Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation which I really really love. And a Sigma F88 brush. And apply that all over my face and at first it was kind of like it wasn't really setting into my skin i don't know if it was the blur stick it was kind of like it was almost just sitting on top which it's never done before so then i took the smashbox color corrector under my eyes and the urban decay naked concealer and applied that where i needed it and i had a pimple on my forehead so i applied it there too and again it kind of like just sat on top and kind of rubbed my makeup off. I'm not sure if it was the blur stick, but my foundation did last all day, so maybe it just had to sink into my skin, I'm not sure. And then I just blended everything out with a Morphe Beauty Sponge. and set it and then I finished under my eyes and I just applied a little bit of the transition shade that I used first under my eyes with a little bit of the dark brown. Set my whole face with Benefit's Hello Flawless Powder which broke on me. And to warm up my face a little bit, I used the Benefit Do The Hula Bronzer again. I really love this one with a Motives foundation stippling brush. And then for blush, I used one by The Bomb. I'm not sure the name of this, but it will be listed below with all the other details. Then for highlighter, I'm going to take this vintage highlighter palette, which came in this month's BoxyCharm box. And I'm going to take the light, like pink shade. And at this point, my makeup was going on fine. It wasn't feeling like it was just sitting on top of my skin anymore. And then for lips, I'm going to take Gerard Cosmetics um, Plum Crazy, which I have just fallen in love with. It's just such a pretty color. And that's all.